What's going on you guys? CJ Hawk 85 here and today I'm going to be playing NFL 97 on the Sega Saturn. Um thanks for watching my video. Make sure to like, subscribe and uh favorite and let's get right to it. Now, I want to clear up is that uh this is the only NFL game as I recall that uh Sega Saturn made for the NFL on the, the Sega Sports lineup. I know they've made Madden games in the NFL Quarterback Club on the Sega Saturn. But from Sega Sports, this is the only NFL game they ever made on the Saturn. And the next year when they released NFL 98, it was on Sega Genesis. Like, this is really, really confusing. Like, how did it end up back on the Genesis? Like, yeah, the Sega Genesis versions were good but I'm wondering what went wrong with NFL 97 where it had to go back to Sega Genesis I mean Sega Sports released Joe Montana games and uh, NFL 95 and primetime uh, NFL 96 with Deion Sanders and that was the 96 season the 95 96 season and um the next year, they released NFL 97 exclusively only on Sega Saturn, and they ignored the Genesis. I guess they were, like, trying to move on away from the Genesis, and then I don't know what went wrong with this game. So we're going to play this game and see why. I'm going to play as the Philadelphia Eagles. And let's see. Who do I want to play against? Broncos, Seahawks, um, Chargers, Chiefs. Hmm. Look at these Buccaneers helmets. <laughs> oh, I remember those back in the day. <laughs> they were hideous, but you know, some people liked it, but most people thought they were silly. I got, yeah, they were hideous. Patriots helmets that they use to this very day. Dolphins. Oh, that's a vintage uh, Dolphins helmets I like the red helmets of the Buffalo Bills I don't like the current ones they have now with the white oh the Baltimore Ravens their helmets in the 90s were different look at them I like the ones they have now I don't like these helmets to be honest I love the new ones like they're more intimidating than the ones they had back in the 90s and I'm sure most of the people know that the Baltimore Ravens are the original Cleveland Browns. And you don't see the Cleveland Browns in this game. It's because around this time, um, the original Cleveland Browns moved to Baltimore. And formed the Baltimore Ravens. And Cleveland Browns were gone until 1999 season. And of course, you young fans out there, that you've seen uh, the Tennessee Oilers helmets. This was before the Tennessee Titans. I'm just telling the young fans out there of, uh, you know, what the NFL was before their generation. Oh. Doesn't look like Veterans Stadium. receive all right here we go I mean it looks pretty good for its time but I don't remember veteran stadium looking like this they got the astral turf correctly back in the day hmm damn Hmm. Let's see here. All right. All right. First and ten. Going for a quarterback sneak, and I get. I go down. In three yards. The quarterback was Ronnie Pete at that time. And these were the days before Donathan McNabb showed up. For the Philadelphia Eagles. We needed a quarterback back then. 
didn't think uh, Ronnie P, Ty Detmer were not the answers. All right, come on, come on. There we go. Can I get it? Oh! It was a little off. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what went wrong with this game. Well, okay, well, the stadiums, what I've been told, are the same. The field eh, could be a little bit better, but, you know, whatever. Guess I'm going to either go for it. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Why not? I'm just going to go for it. Alright. Come on, Ronnie Pete. Oh, man. I didn't make it. Lost a one. And now the Baltimore Ravens have the, the football now. Because I made a dumb move on my part. Vinny Testaverde was the quarterback at that time for the Baltimore Ravens. And I just sat Vinny Testaverde on his ass. You know, to come to think of it, of playing this game so far, I don't know. Like, when I play the rest of this game, I will decide and let you guys know how I feel about this game so far. So far, eh, it's okay, but... I'm wondering if it's just as bad as uh, NFL on LJN on the NES system. I mean, LJN made dozens of bad games. And I mean dozens of bad games. Oh, man. And I wonder if Sega Sports uh, is just as bad at this game at that time than the uh, than NFL from the LJN console. Well, NES, but yeah, you get my drift. Alright, they're going to kick a field goal, try to Make it a 3 nothing game against us. And it's good. <sighs> 33 yard field goal by... It's over. Okay. Now we're going to get the ball back. So the Ravens are up 3 to nothing. Come on. Here we go. Why can't he run faster? Jeez. Alright, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Who am I going to throw it to? Should have gone for the run, but oh well. There we go. Throwing a Hail Mary. Will I be able to catch it? Oh, come on! Are you serious? Couldn't catch that ball? Really? Come on! Oh, let's see here. Hmm, let's try it. There we go. Gain like four or five yards. Gain a four. So it's third and six on the 20 yard line. We're almost at the end of the first quarter, uh, honestly. Right, 
so it's fourth and six. I guess I'm going to have to uh, go for a punt. Well, that blows. Oh, great. Shittiest punt ever. Crappiest looking punt ever. And now Baltimore Ravens got the ball. All right. Yeah, I'm starting to see here that so far why they didn't move on with NFL 98 on the uh, Sega Saturn. And not only that, um, they weren't making as much Sega Saturn games. And then they stopped making Saturn games like around 98, I believe. Because they were moving on and making a new console called the Sega Dreamcast. That would be their final console. They got it right with the Dreamcast, but... Uh, I really did enjoy, like... I really did like the Sega Dreamcast. I still have it to this very day, to be honest. And I'm going to play more uh, Sega Dreamcast games in the near future. Played some of their NFL games on Sega. But I'm starting to see why they went back to NFL on the Sega Genesis and do NFL 98. But why couldn't they make NFL 97 on Sega Genesis as well with the uh, Sega Saturn? That's what I would like to know as well. Oh, man. So many questions that I have that I will never know to this very day. How could they screw this one up? Like, this is not like Madden or Game Day at that time. One of these days, I'm going to play the uh, NFL Quarterback 97 game. Um, and I'm going to determine who had the better game on in 96. Even though it was... They skip a year to call it 97, which is the 96 season towards 97. And for those of you that are wondering that were watching my uh, Madden NFL 16 uh, season mode, yes, I am planning on getting Madden NFL 17 on PS4. And yes, I will be doing uh, season mode where I'm going to play as a quarterback. I would like to put in Carson Wentz as my quarterback. I would like to do that. Yeah, I know Sam Bradford's back, but, you know, whatever. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. You couldn't catch that ball? Come on, Ricky Waters. What are you doing? Man. But, yeah, I would like to play as Carson Wentz for the Philadelphia Eagles. That's what I would like to do. So stay tuned for more on that one. On Madden NFL 17. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh my god, are you serious? I can't even go close. No wonder why they didn't make more Matt, uh, NFL games from the Sega Sports line. This game looks atrocious, to be honest. At that time, the graphics were cool, but still. Well, at least you can tackle one by one guy. You can't take, like, up to four or five people to tackle a person, like, in the Madden games. But some people still had the, uh, the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis at that time. The, yeah, there was people that got the... PlayStation and Sega Saturn and then the N64 was coming up. I think it was already released in 96. I'm sorry I'm babbling on and on but you know. Boy what a time it was. Alright. Let me test the Verde throwing 
to, I don't know what his name is, I don't remember. I know Ray Lewis was playing his first year with the Baltimore Ravens at that time. So we're at the two minute warning. Vinny Testaverde. What's he going to do? Fake the hat off. And he's going to throw it. Oh, incomplete. Tenant for Michael Jackson. <laughs> well, that name sounds familiar, doesn't it? Oh, my God. All right, come on, come on. Sack his ass. There we go. Nice block. Ten and for Ernest Bryant. I don't know. Third and ten. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, sack and Vinny Testaverde. Now I'm going to have to block the field goal. There we go. Come on, come on. And it's no good. Wide right. Now we got the ball back. And we have it for the next 60 seconds. Let's see what I can go for. Um, hmm. We got the next 60 seconds. Fake. A fake pass. Wanted to go for uh, a quarterback sneak. So I faked the pass. Faked the pass, sorry. Blech. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ronnie Pete. Even though you're not that good of a quarterback, but still. Oh. Nice catch. I'm going to call timeout. There we go. Eagles call timeout. Two timeouts remaining. We only have 20 seconds left on the clock before halftime. There we go. Come on, come on. Bam. Oh! Could have had it. It was attended to Irving Fryer. I met him one time. Saw him one time. Over uh, one of my churches. It was like a decade ago or something like that. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Can't even catch in this game sometimes. Now it's halftime. Damn. Oh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> Look how hideous they looked back then. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. That was hideous. Uh, all right, well, the game is three to nothing, and yeah. All right, well, let's get right to the second half of this game. So now the Baltimore Ravens will get the ball back.
But like I said before, I like the new Baltimore Ravens helmets that they currently have right now. They're way more intimidating. Oh. Worst kickoff ever. Thirty nine yard line. I was also hoping that, that the uh Baltimore Ravens would fumble the ball, but fortunately not. Well at least I blocked on that one. Ten for Michael Jackson. I don't know. This game, I could see now why that this game was not that good. I got a sack at least. A sack lost of eight yards. It's not bad. But man, oh man, this. I'm sorry, but this game is not that good. It's not one of my favorite football games of all time. This game is like really, really forgettable. It's very forgettable. Because nobody even talks about it that much. Here I am trying to figure out this game and what really happened and why the next year Sega Sports went back to the Genesis and made NFL 98. Now I'm starting to know the reason why now. This game sucks. There, I said it. Okay? It's not one of my favorite games. It's not worse than NFL on LJN, and I'm going to play that game in, uh, someday. And I'll tell you why the NFL on the NES uh, sucked. Because, because LJN is bad. They've made dozens of bad games. At least this game is somewhat playable, but it's just... This is horrendous. Like, I... Why do I even bother? Why do I even bother, you know? But yeah, one day I will mention and play the NFL from the LJN on the NES. Come on, catch it, catch it, catch it! Oh, come on! It got picked off! Damn! And I forgot. This version of the Philadelphia Eagles sucked before Andy Reid showed up. And before Donathan McNabb showed up. I mean, we were gone with the days of Randall Cunningham with us. I mean, he was talented, but he wasn't... He was good, but he wasn't great. Damn. It's like I'm jumping for Joy Joy on that incomplete. Oh, come on. Not looking good. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh. I always have a problem with football games where a runner gets loose or somebody that gets wide open and catches the ball and goes for a touchdown I always have that problem with football games I always let them off the hook alright come on oh it's great no 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 there we go I'm learning how to stop them But I will say this, yeah, this game is not that good, and it sucks, but it's not the worst football game ever made. Not by a long shot. So far, I give this game like a, a, a D. But NFL from the LJN on the NES, I give it an F. You'll see 
wide in the future. So stay tuned. Because one of these days I will play the NFL on, from LJN. And I'll trash it. I will trash it. It's coming. You'll see. Come on. Oh, down goes Vinny Testaverde. Sack, loss of six yards. Fourth and 13. Well, the game clock, like, uh, goes down pretty quickly. They eat up your minutes, your seconds. Minutes and seconds. And the field goal kick is no good. Thought it would be no good. Alright. Hmm. What do I gotta go for? Um, let's go for that. All right, Ronnie Pete, do your stuff. I know you sucked back then, but you know they thought that you were gonna be the real deal, but I didn't. I knew we needed the quarterback. Sooner or later, at that time, come on, Ronnie Pete. Throw it. What am I doing? What the hell? Oh, great. I'm going to lose like 20 something yards. Great. 18 yard loss. Close enough. I'm running around like an idiot. Third and twenty-nine. So I gotta get a gain of thirty yards. Alright, come on. I'm trying to look for a Hail Mary. See if I could somehow, some way. Get a catch and get it for like 30 yards. Come on, come on. There we go. Throwing a big Hail Mary. Catch it! Air oh my god! You guys got Butterfinger hands. You guys got Butterfinger hands. Bunch of Butterfingers. Wish these wide receivers would have had magnet hands. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why do I even care? Uh, 434 remaining in the fourth quarter. Can't believe how how disappointing this game is. Oh, gotta be kidding me, right? He could go all the way, and he does for a touchdown. Great. Pass completed to Michael Jackson. Should have done the moonwalk on the end zone. Come on! Gonna do a little boo walk on the end zone. All right, that was terrible. It sucked, but oh well. Oh, this game's stupid.
Oh, onside kick! Really? Now they have to re-kick it. They kicked it out of the end zone. What were they thinking of doing an onside kick? There we go. Now they really give it us a real kickoff. I guess they wanted to wrap up the game and make us look like a bunch of fools. Oh, I end up at the 21 yard line. Great. First down, 10 yards to go. Alright. Alright, try to go for a quarterback sneak and it failed. Epically failed. Come on, Ronnie Pete. Throw a Hail Mary. Here we go. And... Oh, come on! He threw it to the wrong guy. Oh, my God. This game sucks. This game sucks. You might as well just forfeit this game. I'm going to play the rest of this game, see if I can stop the Baltimore Ravens for... Embarrassing us more. Hey, if we're going to go down, we're going to go down with pride. And our dignity. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Oh, he fumbled the ball, but it went to the end zone. So it's first and goal at the, what? Four? Okay. He fumbled the ball, and it's lucky they it went to the end zone. <laughs> Come on, there we go. We stopped them. We like to get an interception or a uh, or a fumble. I would like that. This game is horrendous. I'm telling you, man, this game is horrendous. <sighs> it's not like Madden on the PlayStation and uh, Sega Saturn. It's not like uh, NFL Game Day on the PS1. And it's not like... Uh, I've not played NFL Quarterback Club yet. I have not played the NFL Quarterback Club series yet, but I will if I find a copy of Quarterback Club 97. I might just get it on Amazon or something like that. Oh, my God. Two yards. Fourth and goal at the two-yard line. Matt Stover with a field goal attempt. And the kick is good. 13 nothing. So, 1 minute 11 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Or 1 minute 11 seconds in regulation. He just stands there. Doesn't even put two arms to catch a ball. That's unrealistic. All right, here we go. I'm going to try at least throw a Hail Mary. There we go. I'm on. Oh, my God. I can't even catch the ball. 
because I'm jumping around like an idiot. Alright. Come on, Ronnie Pete. Oh, he could have caught that ball. Was he jumping and catching midair or something? Like, was he trying to catch a bird or something? I don't know. Come on. Come on. Uh, pass has to be. Oh, oh you. Oh, my God. I don't even care anymore. I don't even care anymore. I'm not even going to flip out that much. <sighs> this game is not good at all. You might as well do a quarterback deal. Forget it. This game is pretty much over in history. Oh, come on. Everybody else would have done a quarterback kneel. There's no sense of trying to fight back. And this looks like the final play of the game. Quarterback deal and the Baltimore Ravens beat the Eagles 13 to nothing. Embarrassing. This game is embarrassing. Can't believe I've lost not badly like 35 to nothing or 42 to nothing, but 13 to nothing. Oh man, that this game is hitty. It's not that good. So my overall thought, I give it a D. I mean, it's not a great football game. Um, I mean, it is what it is. And uh, the worst football game still is the LJN version of NFL on the NES system. Well, folks, I'm about done with this game. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure to like, subscribe, favorite, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.